Before I even start, I would like to share with you a story. Now, last year, a client approached me and this guy was from a tier three city. And I didn't know how to uh, approach. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what not to say. And this guy was about 50 years old. And he approached me. He's like, hey man, I've lost all hope. And I don't know, you know, if I will be able to go out, approach a girl, if I'll be able to work on my dating life. I live in unmarried. And uh, that's how I came to Aruna and connected with him because I needed some serious help. And I don't know how to, I don't have a plan. Can you help me out with that? Now, he was a very kind soul. And this guy, when I spoke to him, I realized that we opened this company exactly to help men like him, men like me when I was 17, men like you guys were watching this video. And that's why we opened this company. So that particular personalized coaching program was really close to my heart. It was really close to my heart. And I onboarded the client. A lot of my team members told me, hey man, are you sure about this? Are you sure about taking a 50 years old client from a tired three? city so it's not only one challenge which is the client is way too old but the other challenge is it's a tired three city it's a very conservative town so my team members did have second thoughts about it and they were discussing it with me and before you know onboarding the client we always discuss how we can help the client how we can help him grow and if we think we cannot help you grow personalized coaching then we won't be accepting your application so and i really wanted to help this guy and i decided okay if i'm not able to help this guy get a better dating life by the end of 2020 i'll probably leave this business i'll leave this business and focus on something else because if i cannot really help someone as a coach i don't think i should do this that was the reason I took that client, you know, on a personalized coaching program and we did actually help him his review. I'll put up his review on the video so you can click on it, you can check it out. But apart from that, there was a lot of insights that I learned working with him over a year, helping him, you know, achieve his dating life. There was a lot, a lot of insights I learned from working with him on how to help older men. And that's what I want to share in this video today. Now, the first thing I'd like to tell you if you're a guy who's, you know, above 30, if you're a guy who's watching this and who's thinking that, hey, man, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help my situation. The first thing you need to do is be proactive. Now, a lot of guys who've been out of the dating game for a long time, they're not proactive about their dating life. And by being proactive, I simply mean go out and take action. Now, it doesn't really mean that you need to go out and do some approaches. If you're in a tired three city and you're 50 years old, you cannot do that. You cannot just go out and start approaching girls. That's not the best way to go about improving your dating life. I understand that you've been watching a lot of cold approach videos and you want to do this you want to do the skill but is it the best way for you you have to think about that and apart from that don't wish that woman were any different don't wish that your situation was different you have to really accept yourself guys because you have to accept the fact that you wasted a lot of time you have to accept the fact that you know, whatever you have been doing has not been really working so you have to change the course of action that you've been taking and you have to be really proactive about this because even after making a strategy you really have to implement it now the next thing i would say is get in better shape now the better shape is not only to attract high quality women but it's also to build your mindset to go against resistance. What happens when you're out of the dating game for a long time is you get a lot of resistance in your mind. You don't want to go out. You don't want to jog. You don't want to work on your body. You don't want to do anything. And that makes you very passive. So don't be passive. Be proactive. And instead of just sitting at home, start working out. Now, I understand if you're a guy who's 50 years old, you cannot go hit the gym. You cannot work out. So start doing some yoga. Start doing some running. Start doing some jogging. Even a little push is better than no push. So start working out. Start going out in the morning and start fixing a morning routine. Start doing a 10 minutes jog in the morning it's not a very big deal but guys understand this is not necessary to attract women but this is necessary to build a mindset to go against resistance and when you're going to work on your dating life after being out of the dating game for so long you literally have to go against resistance because you'll be dealing with a lot of resistance working on your dating life third tip which i really felt which really helped me get that client the results was leveraging online dating now i understand a lot of guys who are above 30 who are above 40 they probably do not believe in online dating right they're probably thinking that okay online dating is a bunch of fake profiles a bunch of scenic profiles because at that age bracket if you see you will get profiles with no profile pictures you will because a lot of women want to actually hide their faces specifically in a country like india they don't want to reveal that they're on an online dating application so a guy who's 35 40 if he goes on an online dating application he matches with a woman his age definitely he's going to see 90 percent of the profiles like complete scenic beauty and some quotes and that shit and that might make you believe that okay all the profiles are fake there are no women in online dating there are just scammers who are waiting to take your money and guys that's not the case all right, you also have to look at it from another perspective. If you are at an age bracket above 30, maybe 35, maybe 40, maybe 45, then you just have to create your online dating profile once. All right, you just have to create it once and it's all sorted. You can put your best foot forward even when you're taking a dump. You can talk to the girl even when you're busy at your own convenience from the comfort of your own home. You really don't have to go out and take action. But there's another side to it. Once you're 35, 40, 45, you have to understand the competition in the online dating profiles really go down. All right, there is no competition. People who are 35, 30, 40, 
45, they don't generally put that much thought in their profile. And if you see, if you swipe just men for the next 10 minutes, I want you to do this if you really want to work on your dating life. Swipe men in your city for the next 10 minutes. Find one good profile and let me know. Because guys, you have to understand, I've been searching so many good profiles. When I was doing research for his profile, I was searching so many good profiles for men. And I think I searched for like three days and I could not find even a single one which could come close to the profile that we created for him. And I will just add the profile as a screenshot, as a slight example for you guys to see what we created. So work on your dating profile. You really need to put a lot of thought in it just for once. And then it's getting you automatic dates. And for a guy who's not been out on a date for two to three years, this might look unimaginable, but that is what we do. We give you unimaginable results at the pro thing. Another good thing that you can do is find innovative ways about targeting the age group of the girls you're interested in. And by innovative ways, I mean, you know, joining meditation classes, maybe like Art of Living, Isha Foundation, maybe going out to the library, maybe some blind dating events, maybe some eye gazing events. And there are several of these meetups that happen all over the country. Even if your town is the most conservative town, there are several of these meetups that happen all over the country. And all you need to do is go over there, meet the girl, talk to the guys, build a social circle. And also social circle is also going to be a good addition in your case. Build a social circle where you can talk to people, you can talk to women, you can talk to men, and also you can target some women over there. All right, you can talk to girls over there, you can take the numbers and you can carry the conversation once you're back at home. So for this, I would like you to write down at least 10 spots where you can meet and talk to women, where you can, you have a regular interaction with women. Another thing I want to talk about is while I was working with him, I realized that, you know, the problem is not that you will not be able to find a person who's an entire three city who is of your age, who's looking for something similar. The problem is the limiting beliefs in your own mind, the insecurities that you have that, hey, you know, I'm 30 years old and maybe I will not be able to go out and approach girls. Hey, I'm 40 years old. Maybe I will not find the right person for me. So the problem is not what is external. The problem is completely internal. And once you shift that internal, external will not remain a problem because what happens is, you know, if you're thinking, hey, I'm 30 years old, is it too late for me? Hey, I'm 32 years old. And guys, trust me when I say this, I have coached hundreds of clients who are 30 and 35 years old, all right? That is not something I would consider a problem if you want to improve your dating life, all right? So if you're a person who's 30 years old and you're thinking I'm too old for this shit, you know, you're not too old, all right? You're not too old. I've coached a person who's 50 years old. And the problem I realized was the problem was completely internal, all right? If you have insecurities that, hey, you know, I'm too old. Maybe if I'm talking to girls, she'll think that I'm too old. What will happen is a lot of times, you will completely talk in a way where subconsciously you will act in a way where you're too old for the girl, right? Or subconsciously those limiting beliefs will even hold you back before you are able to express yourself or you're able to even take action. That's why guys who are about 40, 50, and this is a common pattern that I've been seeing in a lot of my clients, is guys who are 40 and 50, they are a bit more relaxed when it comes to dating because at that time, you know, if, if you have a lot of limiting thoughts like, hey, maybe I'm 32 years, maybe I'm 33 years, I will not be able to take action. Maybe I'm 45 years, I'll not be able to take action. Then what will happen is you will not want to go out. You would think, hey, anyways, you know, I'm too old, might as well just sit home and just watch some movies, right? Anyways, I'm too old, there's no point of texting this girl. Anyways, I'm too old, maybe she will not be interested even if I take her out on a date. And this is the problem. So the problem is not external, the problem is not finding women, because definitely there are women out there, but all you need is just one woman. And you're telling me that you cannot find this one woman on this earth full of billions of people? That's insane, man. You need to go out, you need to start taking action, whether it's staying at home and taking action, you know, swiping girls through Tinder or Bumble, or whether it's going out and talking to a beautiful girl, you need to do that because at this age, you have a lot of leverage. If you don't fix this problem and you keep on doing what you've been doing, then it can be a bigger problem later. You don't have to ignore the problem. You have to work towards it. You have to work towards developing yourself and being that man who creates his own dating reality. It doesn't really matter if you're 30 or you're 50. All you need to do is take the right actions with the right persistence, being proactive, and you will get the right results. This is your coach Aronov. I hope this video helped you understand how to improve your dating life if you're an older guy.